Hi SQL folks, today's video is about fuzzy string matching. Welcome to another demo, another tutorial from SQL Maestros. So for today's video, today's tutorial, I've done something different. I have picked up a demo snippet, a demonstration from one of our masterclass recordings. So what we do at SQL Maestros is once in three months, we deliver live masterclasses. We have a couple of them. For example, SQL Server Internals Troubleshooting and Performance Tuning, which is a 40 hour masterclass. We have another one on Query Tuning and Optimization, which is 28 hours. And we have Performance Tuning Fast Track, which is a eight hour masterclass. We deliver these live and then these masterclasses also get recorded. So what I have done for today's demonstration, today's video is I have taken up a demo snippet from one of those recordings. So you will obviously get your learning, but it also gives us the opportunity to promote our masterclasses and also show you the kind of content we deliver in our masterclasses. So our masterclasses has the breadth, which means a very wide coverage of SQL Server performance tuning content. And it has the depth, which means we go very deep into SQL Server internals, troubleshooting, query tuning, extended events, index tuning and whatnot. So visit sqlmaestros.com, go to masterclasses, upcoming masterclasses. That's the menu link you will find on sqlmaestros.com and explore the live upcoming classes. If something is not coming up, maybe you can explore the recordings. So with this tutorial, with this video today, we are able to deliver the content also to you and also able to showcase a piece of content from our masterclass fuzzy string matching now fuzzy string matching is a very common requirement in application development it's a it's a need of probably every business so the demonstration is very very elementary it's a very basic thing that we do but we miss out uh, on a very important thing so you will observe the difference between index scan and seek here for many of you i can assure you that if you look at the demonstration you will figure out ah this is something that I am doing and I should not be doing it. So what happens behind the scene? How does the optimizer treat your query and how it decides on the access methods depends on how you have written the T SQL code. Okay, friends, enough of talk. Let's jump into the demo right away. A code snippet from our recordings. Here it goes. Fuzzy string matching. This is fuzzy string matching is another common pattern, anti-pattern that we see in, uh, in SQL Server world. So let's quickly look into that, get into use adventure works. Now, if you look at this query, a very simple query to get a few products from production.product where name is like flat washer. And you have already noticed that there is a wildcard character before the product name and after the product name. So let's go and put this here. You have um, all the product names with flat washer coming in. Now, when you look at this result set here, one thing will strike you that all the product names here that you have got, they start from, they begin with flat washer, which means, I mean, flat word. That's what they begin from. And you, you may have anything at the end. Let's go and look into the execution plan of this. From the execution plan, you really do not get anything at all. No missing index hint, no warning, nothing at all. All that you see is an index scan happening on product name. So there is a non-clustered index on product name and, and that index is being scanned by the execution engine. The key thing to notice is whenever you have a non-clustered index and you see a non-clustered index scan, what should what should tinker you is why is the optimizer not seeking? And this is a fuzzy match is a very, very common uh, requirement in uh, applications, right? And one of the reasons why we take this kind of uh, requirement to full text searches, because you want to search for specific strings um, uh, among uh, in inside huge uh, data, uh, which is text based data. And that's why you take this to full text search, but then full text search is another world altogether. So let's just stick to plain SQL, T SQL and columnar data. So what you are seeing here is you have an index, but it's not being seeked upon. And when you look at the result sets, you know that I really do not need a wildcard character here 
uh, before F because all product names do start with flag. So let's go and just remove that percentage, that wildcard character, and let's go and execute now. And you will see, jump over to the execution plan and you can see a uh, seek now. This is what you wanted. You want a seek happening. And there's a lookup for other, uh, to get other columns. And if you go and compare this, both of them, you can clearly see that there is some performance difference, which is 57% versus 43%. Friends, wherever you are seeing this person, this performance difference, which is kind of very close, like 57 and 43, this is, there isn't a huge gap. And even if you look at the stats, let's go to the properties and look at query time stats, CPU time one, elapsed time one. And when you take this one, also query time stats, zero, zero, and you will see like zero, one, what's the difference? Because the data is small. Take this example, take exactly this example and put it to a huge table, put this, these queries against a, a huge table, millions of records, you will face the heat. You will get to know why there is a performance difference. And even though the optimizers estimates of 57, 43% would may remain intact, even in those cases. But when you look at the actual query runtime statistics, you will see a considerable difference. I am not playing with huge data here. Remember, I'm just playing with these sample databases, AdventureWorks, just to get the message across to you. Okay, so that was fuzzy matching. Hope you enjoyed the demo and hopefully you had something new to learn. There is so much content that we deliver in our masterclasses. The best part is people who register for our masterclasses, they attend live. And then these masterclasses are recorded and they get access to the recordings for a lifetime. Yes, the entire masterclass gets recorded and our registered people get access to the recordings for a lifetime, which means watch them, watch the recordings anytime, anywhere, as many times as you want. This is a huge deal for the community. So visit sqlmaestros.com, explore some upcoming masterclasses and see if there is something that suits your need. Not only live masterclasses, sqlmaestros.com has a lot of self-paced learning solutions like video courses, the all-in-one bundle, and of course the masterclass recordings. Okay, I will see you soon in another video. Cheers. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there, video courses, masterclasses, lab kits, eBooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate sqlmaestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.